What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And as always, a very special thank you to all my members tuning in. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different to say the least. The only thing that I can ask of you is that you try to stick around through the entire video so that way you know the full story because uh, I have some news. I have some very, very positive news that is going to make some inevitable changes for me, for the channel, for the fish room. Unfortunately, I have some very negative news as well that is also going to cause some pretty significant changes around here and I'm going to cover both of those things but uh, I'm also going to feed some of the big guys and some of the channel favorites as far as the fish go, just to kind of say thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. So thank you in advance. Let's start with the good news. And for the good news, I can think of no better people to help share that news with than Adeline and Bree, my two daughters, because I think it affects them just as much as it's gonna affect me. Um, so girls, what is the, the good news? What do we have going on? Uh, Bree, baby. <laughs> We're having a baby in mom's tummy. There is a baby in mom's tummy. Um, Adeline is being incredibly goofy right now. <laughs> so yes, we are having a baby today. Uh, filming this is actually the same day that you guys are going to see it. It's June, June 10th. <laughs> June 10th is the day that we are having our baby. So wait, no, today is June 10th. Uh, August 19th is the actual due date. Uh, realistically, the baby will be here sooner than that but August 19th is the due date, so it is coming up, and we do actually know <laughs> the gender, and uh, let me show you something pretty cute. All right, poke it. <gasps> it's a boy! It's a boy! It's a boy! I was right! You were right! Hey, it's a boy! Yay! I'm having a boy! So there you go, that is the positive news. My family is growing by one. We are going to have a little baby boy in the house in about two short months. So I also think it's probably important for me to point out that my wife did want to do that gender reveal outside with all that blue confetti. I said, no, it'll be fine, we'll do it inside, I'll clean it up. It took me hours, vacuuming, crawling. It got everywhere. The girls did snow angels in it. It was a huge mess, babe, you were right. I apologize, I should have listened. So I'm excited about the challenges that come with raising a baby boy. I already know about put the diaper over the top during diaper changes, just in case. Um, but I'm excited for all the little bow ties and old man caps that come with uh, having a baby boy. So that's very exciting, that's very positive. Unfortunately, that's also kind of the segue into the negative news which I don't really want to dwell on because there's still a lot of reasons to be hopeful and optimistic, but it is important for me to share it with you guys. Uh, one, just for me and my own process, talking through all this stuff really, really helps, but also I think it's important for you guys to know why my uploads on the channel have been so inconsistent. I stopped doing the shorts and uh, yeah, things just are gonna kind of stay that way for a little bit and I want you guys to know why. So here's the negative news. So I don't normally like to do this, but um, so I don't normally like to do this, but I do know I have a lot of uh, you know families that watch my videos together and younger kids. So if you were worried about hearing about the health of my baby uh, and worried that the bad news is going to upset you, make you sad, you don't want to hear it or you just don't care, go ahead and fast forward to this time. That'll let you skip the bad and just get right to the feeding video at the end. But uh, so if that applies to you, go ahead and do it now. I'll wait. And now that they're gone, here we go. Um, what he thinks it is is an aortic coarctation, which means the aorta, which pumps blood into the heart, is more narrow than it should be, but he can't get a good enough picture of it to find out why, and says, it's good we found out now. Most people don't find out till after the baby's born, but it is gonna require surgery. We'll know more in four weeks when you come back and we do another round of ultrasounds. Where it stands right now is when this baby is born, he will be a C-section to put as little stress on the baby as possible. 
and then he will be transported immediately to a different hospital and have open heart surgery right away. Um, Omaha, Nebraska has some incredible doctors and so we feel very fortunate to be where we are and we know we have some very uh, skilled and capable doctors. The reason this is going to be so difficult is because the baby will be taken from my wife who will have to be in the hospital recovering from her c-section for a handful of days and I will have to split my time between uh, the baby at the one hospital and then my wife recovering at the different hospital. Um, there's still so much uncertainty because we don't have the diagnosis yet. We don't know what the exact surgery is going to be. We don't know what the recovery will look like. We don't know what uh, life after surgery looks like. We just don't know any of this, but I know that I needed to share this with you at this point because I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask how things are going, ask why I haven't been uploading as much, and I appreciate all the love and support that I get from you guys. And I want, like I said, it, it's important for my process to be able to share this and, and I wanted to say it. So that's where I've been. That's why my videos have been scarce lately and they might continue to be so for a little while until we kind of figure out what our, our, our sense of normal looks like uh, with this baby and moving forward. So that's what's going on. That's where I've been. If you watched all that, thank you. Thank you for th the support. You personally, yes, I'm talking to you watching the video right now. Thank you for the support that you give me. It truly means everything to me and uh, my family as, as we go through this difficult time. So thank you for understanding. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back inside. We're going to do the fish feeding and uh, I'll tell you just some more kind of positive stuff here. But uh, so if, for all those people that skip the video, they're going to come back in right now. Welcome back if you fast forwarded through uh, the sad part and uh, we're back in the fish room to me holding a giant uh, pile of tilapia. So let's go ahead and we're just going to feed a handful of fish. Uh, I am actually, by the time this video is out, we'll probably be down in Florida for Aquashella. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be there. So I think the first fish I'm going to feed because he's always so fun is the largemouth bass. Now I almost lost this bass because I had a channel catfish in there with him and I didn't realize anything was happening, I just noticed that the largemouth was getting like beat up and I had no idea why. I just thought he was swimming into rocks and stuff. And then I realized that uh, I have the world's meanest channel catfish and I got that guy out and put him in the, the garage pond. So you're gonna notice he's a little beat up and he's a little thin because I've been uh, bringing him back from the edge of death. Honestly, he was very, very beat up and very skinny. So let's feed the largemouth. I'm walking around in the circle of life Doing the things I know Walking the same ways a hundred of times with the same soul. But do you ever try to puff on the right side, put it up in your mind? But do you ever try to puff on the left side, put it up in your mind? And just like that, we are driving uh, to the airport because I waited till the last possible minute to uh, film that video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those little feeding clips. Uh, again, if you're gonna be at Aquashella in Orlando, come find me, say hi. I'd love to uh, you know, meet you, we'll hang out, we'll do all kinds of fun stuff while we're there. So come find me, I'm excited about it. Uh, if you watched the bad news of this video, Thank you for the support. If you didn't, you skipped through it. Still, thank you for the support. I love each and every one of you. We're about to hit 50,000 subscribers, which is insane. I have lots of stuff coming. We gotta add fish to that, uh, that uh, window front pond that we set up in my last video. So thank you guys for watching. As always, remember this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper. Now, time to be safe. Bye. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you.